Back in the day, there was an FPS game called Call of Duty 2. It was fun, smooth, and it revolutionized the gaming industry. Most importantly, the birth of the sniper rifle was in this game. Sniping would then maintain its loyalty at least up until the midpoint of Call of Duty 4. But before then, all we really cared about was just getting headshots. Nothing more. Compared to nowadays, whew, you don't even want to know. But if anything, we would absolutely love getting headshots. Just love getting headshots. Yes! Fuck yeah, headshot, bitch! But then, of course, change always comes along. I mean, it's just natural. During the midway point of Call of Duty 4, there were new so-called tricks being implemented with the use of a sniper rifle. First came the G-Shot from Zerg Grizz. In other words, just simply no scope with set of movements. From then on, everyone took advantage of the no scope and tried to do different things with it. But before today's modern trick shots were even invented, all we could possibly do is get excited for collaterals. I mean, even better, no scope collaterals. <laughs> I just got a no scope collateral. <laughs> so at this point, I guess you could pretty much say everyone is trying to invent their own trick shot. So now it's a repeated cycle of just new tricks. But then came along the bounce shot with other moves you could never have possibly ever imagined. Oh my god, just bounce! <laughs> and yet, the cycle continues in 2009 with Call of Duty's next smash hit, Modern Warfare 2. I mean, all it took was just one perk and only one perk to revolutionize sniping. After all, who would have known that it would even soon lead kids to having a series of unfortunate orgasms? Ugh. Oh! Look at the kill cam! Look at the kill cam! Three man kill people! Three! Three. Oh. Yeah. Let's just face it, everybody. Sniping has evolved to the point where one can't even name his or her own trick. Ow! Oh! 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 What the fuck did I just do? Now just to clear things up and to get things straight, I am not against trick shotters at all, nor am I against people that quickscope. Shit, I personally think it's quite interesting. But what gets on my nerves is that the moral values of sniping have gone straight out the door. And I mean straight out the door. So now if someone scopes into their sniper rifle for more than two seconds, they're considered a noob because it's so-called hard scoping. At the end of the day, that's how sniping used to be. Look, ask any sniper rifle vet. Now I'm not asking anybody to go back to the old sniping ways, I mean after all, we do live in an era of change, which is normal, but all I ask is for one to have a sense of respect for themselves. How you may ask? By not trying to jeopardize the team's win, in other words, trying to stay last alive just to do a 360 double wide tap no scope off a two story building for the win just to be in the game winning kill cam. <laughs> I even said for the win. Or maybe even having all of your teammates go for trick shots only, when they're not even trying to go for the objective. How annoying is that? Now, I don't even think you guys have noticed this, but the terminology of the word sniper is attached with a rifle, or at least it was. Now, there are still a few of you out there, including myself, who still include the word rifle with the word sniper. Not that the rifle part is important, just as it is to not say assault with the rifle. Anyways, everyone, that just about sums up my point of this video. Hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, may I ask you to please leave a friendly rating. Thanks a lot, everyone. I'll catch you guys later. It's Mr. Slick Ninja. Sending out. Ciao.